Everybody wants to be the king till shots ring and you're laid in the balcony with holes in your dreams or your Malcolm X stout get distracted by the screams. You see, this lyric keeps playing over and over in my head. Now I think, but I dread this dream because it's this nightmare and who ever said we'd be kings? This man in his speech, he said, he said he dreamed shots ring and I've been afraid to go to sleep every since. Since his sense didn't secure his security, you know the truth is, the truth never set this man free. And since our race doesn't signify our peace while I piece the holes in this equation, I wonder if he spoke out the lips of a Latino, German, or Asian explaining the interrelated structure of reality to a nation, would he then have found himself on that balcony of resentment struck by an assassination? No, 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 I don't want to have that dream. Nor this spoken word poetic scheme to show my brothers and sisters what revolution means, seeing that death is right across the street loaded and an assault rifle ready to shoot me awake. No, no, no. I, I really want to tell my brothers to wake up and take their thumbs out of their mouth, use them to grip their kids, grab hold to your heritage, because we are being raped out of our culture. And this being replaced with this mentality of vultures that's motivated by business and our women are frozen in the psychological state of independence, descendants of Willie Lynch's greetings, but, 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 but I don't want to have that dream. For that dream led to tears. You know, those tears that left struck fear in the hearts of little dark boys and girls that having a dream to bring our people together would ultimately put us to sleep in the end. They say this is just the American way, and it's the reason why we were all scared to death the night Obama walked out with his family on election day. And that's because death is right across the street or in this crowd. Get your hands out my jeans. Malcolm X, the spot where I wanted to tell my brothers to fight back by any means because truth is on the side of the oppressed and that lies on that mouth and eyes of those fixated on binding us by religion that beliefs are never justified by tradition, you know Malcolm once said, sometimes you gotta pick the gun up to put the gun down, but we are raising guns more than raising our sons, and it has affected this town, this room, I've become afraid to change the minds of my own people, and fear of my doom, well I assume this is how Magic Johnson feels, not telling us the truth about his cure, oh so you're telling me that the cure a nation is to kill oneself, well Mr. West, Western civilization will hang you if you say Bush doesn't care about black people. Dear Tommy Smith, there is no gold at the end of the rainbow for pumping your fist. Something is wrong with this equation. I don't want to die to live. I don't want to be laid down for standing up. I don't want to face arrest because I protest capitalism in this land of the free. Don't want rappers like Jay-Z to be afraid to rhyme like common sense because their sense has more in common with those on the other side of the fence. No, this is not how it's supposed to be. I have found there are no crowns for kings. There's only crowns of thorns and crucifixions. We believe everything they taught us. Better yet. We believe more in this place that they bought us. Just look at the Billboard Top 100. Or the decrease of African-American activists in the 21st century. We become afraid to speak African resolution and fear of our execution. Because soon as we become kings, and the shots ring. And you're laid in that balcony with holes in your dreams. Or your Malcolm X out get distracted by the screams. Woo! Woo!